Well, I'm just back from three weeks in Europe and Ireland and England and uh, kicking back off our series on uh, the book and on Friday and, and what we do. Um, Joan won uh, the contest this past week, which is terrific, and she is building a house in the Northwest, Pacific Northwest of the United States. Loves New England vernacular architecture. And the question is, how do we transition New England architecture to the Pacific Northwest? So there's a couple ways to think about it. Uh, one is uh, materials. Uh, in the Pacific Northwest, often the shingles are red cedar versus white cedar. Here in the Northeast, we use white cedar and it weathers to gray. In the Pacific Northwest, oftentimes it's red cedar that weathers a little more to a brownish gray. And that's indigenous to that locale. So that's one thing that, that separates the, the differences of the two places. The other thing is the architecture, recognizing it rains there quite often, uh, and there's that gray mist that seems to permeate the, the coastline in particular. Uh, stronger eaves, uh, oversailing eaves, and the architecture should be a little more robust. That takes into account the weather and the conditions. Um, the other architects of the past that I would reference for okay. that locale might be the firm of Green and Green, turn of the century shingle style architects that did a lot of work in California. But their architecture uh, is reminiscent of some of Frank Lloyd Wright's work, but also has the oversailing eaves in itself and highly detailed in a lot of wood materials that you would uh, reference in the Northwest as well. So those are some of the tips that I would recommend. It's great to be back in the U.S. of A. and looking forward to uh, continuing our series on questions and books. And for that, I will sign the book.